Hello and welcome back. Now we are going to cover the uh, programming part of this machine and I have done another bit of purification. I covered it all in wood and added a few more monitors just for looks. Of course they won't do much but just for the looks. Okay. Now we want to add some words of course. The first thing I'm doing is I add the sleep command and this is just a 20 ticks wait just to make it a little simpler because we need this one quite often. Now the thing we want to do is we want to have four commands to move it in all directions south, west and what do you know. So we define the word south and it begins with zero do and you see in a second and now we need to check out which one is the direction south. This one and this one is moved by this frame motor and this is white and magenta. So we have the one IOX and four IOX. One IOX exclamation, sleep, four IOX exclamation, sleep, zero IOX exclamation, and loop. And that is it. This is the south command and now this should be able to move us in this direction. And why have I done zero do? Because it has an integrated loop so if I do two south it automatically moves to in the south direction. And if you're unfamiliar with what I'm uh, blah 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 blah. <laughs> if you are unfamiliar with what I'm just doing you should check out my tutorial video on the red power computers. I'll put a link in the video description. So two south moves us to south, one and two. Okay, now that's obviously working. And of course we need this for the other four directions and I'm just going to do this off camera because it's just the same thing. I have just to look up the uh, values for the uh, correct cables. I'll be back in a minute. And I am back again, as you can see those commands are all the same. I have just added the appropriate values for the cables in the right direction. And the only thing you have to consider while doing this is that you want to fire this cable which is on the first frame motor first, wait then the tick until the frame has moved and then fire this frame motor to retrieve or to return the frame motor to the correct position to do it again. So this is basically it to move it in all directions and we can just do it by just do 10 north. Uh, this Okay, nice. And you can see what happens just as we wanted it to. Okay, now we have to move 10 in the north direction. And it's getting dark again. Okay. Now, of course, we want to have the commands up and down. So we define those as well. Define the down first. Again, zero do. No, not odd. <laughs> zero do. Okay now let me just check. This one was down wasn't it? Oh, hard to see. Uh, I think black was down if I am not mistaken. Let me just check it. And now you see it's handy to have another PC. <laughs> well. Not that that would be my intention, but it is indeed handy right now. Okay, now black was... Let me just... Okay. Black was 32768 IOX exclamation. And yes, black was down. Zero IOX exclamation. Okay, nice. 
so 0, 2, 768, IOX exclamation, sleep, 0, IOX exclamation, loop. I don't think this would be, no, no, let's just do 10 ticks delay in between. Loop and close it down. So now we need the up. Zero do. Up was red, so this is one six three eight four. IOX exclamation. Sleep zero IOX exclamation. Ten ticks. Loop semicolon. So five up should move at five up. Four, five, yes, it does. Nice. And let me just add one there, just for safety. And now another nice thing on this design, let me just do 10 up and jump down quickly. Now you can see how nicely this uh, drill integrates itself into the platform when it's all up. And of course there are also everywhere those uh, covers. so. When we move the drill down now, it shouldn't take anything with it. And let us just let's just check this. Ten down. And nope, it hasn't. Nice. So now our basic commands are now done. We can move the platform in every direction and we can move the motor up and down. Now we need a dig command to uh, access the uh, the block breakers, and this was green, I think. Yes, green. Let's just do dig. Pretty simple command there. Green is eight one nine four, so eight one nine two. Sorry, IOX exclamation, and we don't need loop here. Then just do well. Ten ticks. Zero IOX exclamation. Ten ticks. That should be enough. And close it up. And now if we do dig, we should fire up the. Uh, uh, well, hard to see. Let me just. And now you can see in the corner here. You can see it. Now it should light up if I enter this command. Dig. And now you, it lights up as you can see. Nice. And now we want to uh, program a dig cycle to dig with this thing. And let's just call that dig down. And again, we want to define a loop here. So we can define how deep we want to dig. Zero do. Then the first thing that we want to do is we want to move the drill down. So we do one down. Then we do dig. And then let me just check in which direction we have put those. So as I just said in the previous video, you can't just move it down, down, down because you have this uh, row of frames in the middle that can't dig. And so you would have, whoops, nope. Uh, the digging pattern would look like this. One, two, three, and one, two, three. This would be digged up and this middle row would still be there so you wouldn't be able to move it down. And that's why we need to move it then to the right then dig those and those and then we have 
removed a nice little uh, rectangular area and then we can move the drill down, dig those, then move to the right, then dig those and move down and so on. And the direction is south and north. So what I can do now is let's just do the inefficient way. So down, dig one north, dig, and then we can do one down. So basically we go one down, we dig, we go one north, we dig, we go down, we dig, we go one south, and we dig. And this is the cycle, and then we can loop it. And this is inefficient, uh, but I'm showing you in a second. So let me just check how large is this thing. Uh, well, I can do seven. Seven, dig down. Unknown token. Int oh, I have not closed the statement. Ah, that's unfortunate. Okay, again. Done again, and now we can do uh, seven dig down. Block breaker down, block breaker, block breaker down, and the block breaker, yes, and this is how it should be. I don't know if 7 is actually enough to reach the ground, but let's just see. And there you have your basic digging machine. And all the items will go up and into the chests. Whoa, it's getting close. Duh. Okay, let me just stop it here. Yes, I've stopped it. <laughs> Whoa, that was close. <laughs> Um, yes. Now the items are going into the chests. Nice and easy. Uh, wow, as you can see the uh, memory is running really low now. Okay. And now to the reason why this is rather ineffective, because if you look at the cycle, the down and the dig uh, is just fine, but we are doing north and south in here. And if you remember what this does, the following. First it triggers this motor, which turns the frame in this direction. And as soon as this is finished, this motor gets fired and returns this motor to the default position. And this time it takes to return the motor to this position our 20 ticks wasted time on both sides. Same thing here. This one gets fired, moves the frame in this direction, and then this one gets fired to return the motor to the default position. So what you can do is first you fire this motor, which moves the frame. Then the motor will be here, and it's just fine. You can leave it there for a second. What you then do, you fire this motor, this one, to move the frame in this direction, and you dig again. And then both motors are on this red plate here, in front of the other motor. 
and then you need to move the frame down anyway and when you move the complete arm down you can uh, reset those two motors then because this is not no waste of time because while you're moving down you can't dig or move any other way anyway so what I do is I turn on the green one then turn on the white one and while I move the frame down I reset both of those and that's more effective than uh, resetting them right away but I guess it's fast enough either way I mean we have just taken what about 10 seconds to dig this one I think it should be enough to dig anything you need so I think this concludes the tutorial on this drilling platform here if you have any question or a suggestion what I could do next or what I should do next just send me a personal message on YouTube I will most likely read them and of course if you like the video press like if you want to share it share it and I will hopefully see you next time bye bye